Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk Yo. and Courtney Wright. Hello, hello. So we just got done watching Eternals, and this is a film that is highly, highly anticipated, to say the least. Definitely for me, because I was in love with the concept from the trailer. I'm going to keep this non-spoiler for you to let you know, honestly, how we felt about it. One of the things that drew me into this story, because I don't, I didn't know about Eternals. I only just started reading it because of the movie coming out. There's some construction going on in the background. I don't know why. It's like 11 o'clock at night. But anyway, one of the things that it really, really intrigued me was the age of these characters and the time span that this is covering. Supposedly, just like the genesis of humanity, the genesis of everything, culture, uh, technology, everything, and. <laughs> <laughs> That's really loud. It's all good. It covering the genesis of humanity and everything that makes us us is what intrigued me. And they do dive into this. I don't know that they dived into it as deep as I wanted them to because there was so much ground to cover. Yeah. But it was definitely an interesting movie to say the least. This is my brother, Greg. You guys might have heard of him. He has a YouTube channel. The Cosmic. It's doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's Cosmic Wonder. <laughs> And there's the blue-headed lady. Oh, Lord. Blue-headed lady. <laughs> and there's right the man there. who runs everything. The real the star. The idea guy. The right real there. star of it all right there. Are you following him? If you're not, you should. I thought it was epically stunning. Like, it was visually beautiful. And I think the biggest departure for me that made it different and stand out from other Marvel movies is the aspect of, of heart. The love that the characters have for one another was more prevalent than like in other Marvel movies when it's basically like a lot of action, you know, and a lot of action and then there's some comedy infused. And that did happen, but this was mostly about the connection that uh, these characters have to one another and what they can bring to their idea or version of heroes to this earth. This movie was an epic undertaking. It always was going to be. It's spanning 7,000 years. Like, there's a lot to cover. But I think the thing that was the best part of the movie for me was just the characters. I thought that they did a really great job at differentiating between each and every one, which is a feat in itself because there are 10 Eternals. Wow. And they all feel like fully realized different characters. I loved them that, like, just the Eternals themselves, their interactions, their relationships relationships that was my biggest takeaway from the movie and my favorite part of the film yeah, it's funny you're saying that because actually that was one of my big fears was that like with so many characters how are you going to be able to do justice to all of them in one film in, in one film yeah, and that's like I'm bringing the Avengers together over the course of like several different movies because there's like six main Avengers we met each one of them in a different film but yeah. yeah we got all of the Eternals in this film and they were completely different and I thought that that was a, a, a huge accomplishment Look in that tummy one. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Look at the green mark. Here we go. Act. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no, hold on. He, he did it. Let's try Sorry, it again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. So, I didn't love the movie. <laughs> I had really, really high expectations for this film, and I think that I, I want to watch it again, but like in a better setting, which would be IMAX, because it's actually there's actually scenes that are formatted for IMAX, and I think that if I have 
a better theater, I'll have a better viewing experience overall because we were up in the nosebleeds watching this. And so I want to be more immersed in the film. But for me, it was trying to cover a lot of ground over the course of two and a half hours. And while we got the characters, I feel like in the story area, I wasn't quite grounded. I, I didn't know what I was rooting for over the course of the film. I, I, knew, the, I knew the stakes, but I didn't know what I was rooting for. I didn't feel super connected to anybody, even though I thought the characters were well-rounded. Were well yeah, that's interesting that you say that, because it is like when the movie ended, I was kind of like, oh, okay. I enjoyed the characters individually, and I enjoyed them together, but why don't I care more? Right. And I can't quite put my finger on what that is exactly, but it may have to do with just how large the scope of the story is. Hey guys, so Whoa. I'm here with Warren from the Cosmic Wonder. I'm new to see his face, but like so stoked. Look at this face. Oh, no, look at her face. No, it's much more beautiful. You guys, look who I found. It's Eric Foss. Hi. The Eric Foss. And hey. he's going to well, he's going to tell us well, like what to make of the movie later on. Yeah, yeah. It, but not now. Not I'm gonna, right now. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find, reach, reach things that are not really Easter eggs, but just connections I'm gonna force, and then you're all gonna think it's like intended by the director. <laughs> it was not my favorite. There were certain characters that I was connected to, like Angelina Jolie. Um, her character Athena and um, the other character Gilgamesh. I really enjoyed them and their arc. I wasn't, I, I just wasn't drawn into the world. I thought that they did a really great job of casting lots of different types of people and so it was really awesome to see a Marvel movie where literally I'm like, oh I think, I think they got everyone. Everything was represented, which I thought for me it was amazing to see um, a deaf actress yeah. portray um, one of the Eternals. She played the character of Makari. Yeah, yeah, Makari. She was my favorite character. She was awesome. She was phenomenal. Yeah. The action in the last act of the film I thought was great. Uh, there were some moments where it's like the audience was cheering, but I even felt myself being happy in uh, a number of the action moments towards the end of the film. It was the most epically, visually stunning battle. Because there, you know, you have wonderful um, visually, visual scenes within like Shang-Chi yeah. um, and, and in Endgame as well. But this was different. It was almost like an artistic ballet of, of like the way that, that she crafted um, the battles. And I thought it was really beautifully done. I am still really interested to see where they go with the Eternals because they set up a lot of really interesting things. The ending are, was woven very well yeah. in terms of like setting up for what is next. Yeah, that, that's something to look forward to at least. That covers our non-spoiler thoughts. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Acharika and Courtney Wright. Peace out.